It is because you have testicles. I told you the class of testing, testicles, testimony is coming. Be on alert. Tell your friend to tell your friend to tell your friend. Good. I know you've understood. Because the interview machita ona we went to kurema. Yet history influences your future. When is it going to stop? You have the power to tell the history that I don't want to see you in the future. You learn from your history and you become better. But if you learn nothing in history, your future is going to look at your history. And they are going to collaborate. And you are going to be a loser all your life. So when you are abusing your father or mother, be careful out there. Their generation had less uh, stupidity. I mean these wrong, wrong morals. They also had their things their time. But our generation, hey, nyabo. Back in the day, they used to hide. They used to, they used to respect everyone on the village these days. I love children. Yesterday, a mother came, a mother of three, two girls and one boy. They were running around. So I saw and I came out. And I'm like, hi. These kids answered back very fast. They are Caucasians. Oh, I put on my mask and I bent over. And I talked to the boy. The girl was five and a half. The boy is three. They told me he'll start school in uh, in spring. Then the baby is like one and a half. But these kids can't talk, my God. I told the mother they should pay. They asked me why they had covered one of the freezers. Now I had to explain from the bottom of the conversation. With patience. Answer every question they ask. They asked. Then the mother looked at me and asked me, do you have children? I'm like, no. She's like, you're good with children. I told her, as a mother, as a, a girl, as a woman, those are things that are instilled in our DNA. Those things are already there. But they can be harnessed if you're raised right. If you're raised right and you have a special relationship with the Lord, that's the only time you'll care about other people's children. That's the only time you will take others as important as you want yours to be treated. There are things I don't like to be anyone to do to me, so I will not do it. starts with me. I can wear any hat any time to you, trust me. The only thing I will not do with you, Sebo. I can do what your wife does. But the only limit I will not exceed is to share your bed with you. That is your wife's place. Your bedroom is your wife's place. That is a no-go zone for Esther. That one we don't discuss, we don't compromise. Because if I do, I'll be one of the stupidest girls ever. Now I'm not even be stupid. There are other words you can add. I'll judge you and a gamba swine. I'll go my musuja gwen busy gugenda tulum. Okay, head of states. Learn to wear different hats and fit in very well. You can. To be a leader, there are people who are born leaders. But even if you're not a born leader, you can be a leader at any time to you. It's about asking the Lord to give you the heart. Most of you are leaders, but you don't have a heart of a leader. Because you don't have a heart of a servant. And you don't want to learn. That's a big challenge. Continue. Head of state. In a constitutional monarchy, the sovereign remains politically neutral and cannot vote. 
but she does maintain a formal relationship within the UK government. Opening each session of Parliament, there she addresses both the House of Lords and the House of Commons in the Queen's speech, which is actually drafted by the government. The speech outlines the framework for Parliament's impending, impending session and indicates forthcoming legislation, which also must receive royal assent from the Queen before it can become law. That said, it's unusual for approval to be refused. The monarchy holds a regular audience with a, pre, with a prime minister, at which time she expresses her views. The queen officially appoints the prime minister following a general election, but does not choose the person, instead appointing the leader of the political party that wins a majority in parliament. That is the head of state in the UK. I have a version of the head of state in the United States of America, mm. which I think is now in line with the president under this big document called the American Presidency. The Glorious Biden. The American Presidency. They have a part. History Channel. They have a part where we have creating the presidency. For them, they create the presidency. Good. Then they have presidential campaigns celebrating inaugurations, presidential roles, limits of presidential power, the White House as a symbol and a home, assassination and mourning, communicating the presidency, the presidency in popular Im imagination, life after the presidency. Good. Further reading, a presidential chronology, acknowledgments. You need to be informed. If you are a leader, you need to do research. You need to understand how other countries are doing things. You need to reference. You need to have citation. As a leader, it's not about you and what you think you know that you know. Trust me. You need to educate yourself. You need to use all the available information. God has brought certain people in your life to help you go to the next level in your own career. God is going to bring women from the village. They do their things locally. But you and the corporate, you will look so useless when you find those village women. Most of you say they've not gone to school. Trust me. When I look at the village woman or wife or mother, and I look at the so-called corporate, I would rather go with a village woman because they know what it means to be a wife and a mother at home. The corporate is missing that part. The corporate can only be a mother. They, they care more about their bodies than being a mother. They care more about their career than being a mother. They care more about their reputation than being a wife and a mother. They love being a wife, but being a mother? Because when they become a wife, they're like, you open the door for me. Those are the things that took them to get married. And they got married because they got tired of being tossed in love. You know how men can play soccer with your heart. <laughs> I tell you. Now for us who played baseball, when a man uses your heart as a baseball ball, oh wait. Because this one is a killer. When they get your heart and they treat you like this ball. I guess they should use their feet. With your, with their feet you're safe. But when those men start to use you as this ball, when their hands become a bird, get ready for a home run. Hope that home run takes you to heaven. Head, 
head of the armed forces. A queen's personal connection to the armed forces began in 1945 when she became the first female member of the royal family to actively serve fully in the auxiliary territorial service during World War II. It was at this time that she learned how to drive, repair, and maintain vehicles, vehicles. Is it vehicles or vehicles? Mama, you cannot even change your tire. Oh, the tire have gone so far. You cannot even change your bulb in the house. And you call yourself a leader, really? Something that simple, a bulb? I can change my bulb. You have to call someone to change the bulb. You cannot clean your own sink. You cannot get a pair of pliers. Or a plunger to change. This is serious. And you also want to be a leader. Come and motivate us. Because those are the things you use. While teaching us. Because that is practicability. Your car stops running. Find out what's wrong. It is either the water. You check the oil. You check the fuel. You check the tire. You check your battery. Listen to the engine. It coughs different when it has a problem. But a motor can again, you know, only could bypass over the games. A motor can second us. Tata Johnny! Tata Johnny, na kugamba motor can tell you where mechanica. Nay, Tata Johnny, over a curidawa. Every two year we call a red. Tata Johnny, want a man. Kati wakudia mgenze nina meeting, na hita hata John. E mutoka ya food day. Tata John nataka, kati nino mnange, kamila kumazi, tata John nina alioka kukeweza, ii galozi. Amen. What do you do when you're with your wife in time year dimpe? Kumuko mbedele na kugulabi mudu. Kati nsaa sidema no wa girlfriend, boyfriend, lifestyle. Baino umwana wa cohabiting kid up. That time of dating, I think you should learn all these things. Instead of sleeping around. Omusa janatu kwa kuwa sango kadi. No tuko kuzala wana ba yonkama bere gonga gakadi yengori na mukade kadei dei. No ingira mbofumbo ngato ina na chogenda kola yu ato bo ya gara yote. Mbofumbo ya wafuko mbofumbo. When you get married, then you become married. When you cohabit, you and the prostitute, the difference is zero. What do you do with your boyfriend? Oh, ya kweraza. Aina kasi kasi kese pak. Because you don't do certain things that require preparation for marriage, that's why most of you are failing and are getting out. Your character cannot allow you to stick in the atem nanga siku nenye bie wa mwe. Masenga te wafu mbirwa. Weta waka deli for the same baby. E wamo chibaba gamba ko. Omseja yogiro wendo lingaka. Aka miu gujo. Omseja yogiro wega ya. Asife tuwa jiru wapu na wabundu. Anti uyu. Nadala wana wafu mbiru wabasaji ya wakuru. Saka na wabasaji ya watoku mpasa. Na ina wakuru na wakugenda yongo li steady. Mwana wachitangi, hawa wasaji hawa to, hawa kuduna, genda yungu wali state. Tata jona ayogera, ya mufu nile da garanti ayomba nyo. Ka obiti kangetikali ya. Na alio katumu nile njala. 
Ante ya gala kuleka. Anti pasatomu ya wala yugiriza temuleka ni dawa saji. Nga teka mwa koku matunga tata ya yogeza yeka. Esta ngamba gohuli je. Nina matuwa habiri. She also wants to be a leader outside. So that it all starts in your house with your husband and children. Leadership starts in the house. You don't listen to your own father and mother. Which man can handle you? <laughs> Girls, you want to be happy in your marriage? Treat your father's house as if it is your own house. I had a problem. Because I'm a firstborn and I'm a multitasker, you will talk to me when I'm talking. When I'm talking to old people and they're talking to me, they're talking while I'm talking. Do you know how I talk? I talk inside. I create an environment inside my own head. Now I'm with my age mates, I talk back. And this year, in uh, January, January or December last year, the Lord told me how I disrespect someone. And that disqualifies me from being anyone's wife. <laughs> he told me I disrespect. I was like, hey. <laughs> that disqualified me from being anyone's wife. I talk while they are talking back. I have friends who have had trouble with me, by the way. And they told me, Esther, when I'm talking, don't talk back. It has been a, a journey that is a problem. So in this isolation I'm in, <laughs> I am teaching myself. Unfortunately, I talk to myself. Practice. <laughs> With old people, you talk when I'm talking inside. I can hear you. I, I cut off the listening part and I stay with the hearing and when I'm hearing I am just talking and the Lord disqualified me that and I was told that when I learn to respect people <laughs> I was like hey no. then I remembered what I do inside Someone noticed that in 2010 and started fighting with me that when they are talking, I should listen. Because I was just hearing, I wasn't listening. But because I'm a multitasker, I would do what they say because I'm good at multitasking. But in the eyes of God, it wasn't right. <laughs> But we are struggling with many things. And I have people who love me so much. Because they love me. Your family is supposed to support you like that. Your family does not get annoyed. You learn certain things when you are with your family. When you wait to get married and you think you're going to learn from there, that man, that woman will not handle you. And if that man or woman is not from God, if that man or woman is not your right partner, you're going to split. Because for them, they cannot put up with you. They forget their own manners. Don't sing. Let Tata John do his part and you do your part. That is a character of a leader. Those are some of the traits of a leader. You don't say, as, as my wonder did not do. 
that is not a character of leadership. A leader you're accountable. If Mawanda does not do, don't wait for him do. I have a challenge. I ask people to do certain things. And all the time I come next in their lives. I no longer waste my energy. I just say, cool, okay, no worries. And the fact that we have a time difference, I no longer stress myself. When I get to the time and I can, I'll come. If I'm not able, it's okay. It used to be a problem now. The rate at which people are dying. I understood that we have a time difference. If I call my mom and she doesn't pick, I won't quarrel. And remember all the time I call, because I take long to see them or hear from them, I want to tell them everything I feel on my heart. Now sometimes I don't give them room to talk back. Then those who love the Esther, my family members, they are always patient with me. Someone who is not my family member, my blood, if I don't belong in your tribe, if I don't belong in your lineage, if I don't belong in your church, you won't have any patience. That is why we are supposed to learn the fruits of the Holy Ghost. Because if you are a leader, and if you're among the fivefold ministries, those are traits you have to learn. You need to learn and cultivate the presence of the Holy Spirit for you to get the fruits. You need to be patient with everyone. If you are a leader, people who aren't leaders are not patient with anyone. It's about them all the time. They don't have your time. They don't have time. Why? Because they don't serve you. They are not service providers. When you are a service provider, you love people. Why? Because you have service to give them. When you're not giving anyone service, they don't care. They don't care. They don't care. They don't have your time, my friend. People who aren't leaders, it's about them. They don't have time. It's about them and their family. It's about them and their so-called well-being, their hearts. That's why they call it. Because they don't carry the leadership mantle. This woman carried a leadership mantle. She cared about everyone who did not care about her. Because they wanted to stay. When you are in power, you care about people. Whether you don't have to wait for them to care about you. A leader does not wait to be cared about. A leader works. A leader gives their service. A leader's life is not nuclear. But a leader needs to be supported by their family. Because if they're not supported by their family, it gets complicated. They cannot live more than 50 years. This woman was supported by her family. That's why she pushed up to 96 years of age. You don't know what she's gone through. Those leaders cry. And if they don't have a spouse, they don't have grandchildren, they don't have children or cousins, they don't have relatives, they wear out and die very fast. Me, I respect anyone in a position of a leader. Because they have a lot on their table. They have to comfort their own small families. Their big families. Then they have to comfort a nation. I look at pastors. And I'm like wow. But people who don't have a leadership heart. They choose. Who to do things for. That's why when they get annoyed. Forgiving becomes hard. Because they don't carry the leadership mantle. Since then, this lady learned a lot of things. 
Since then, all three of Elizabeth and Philip's sons have served in the royal military as well as their grandsons, Prince William and Prince Harry, as the head because it's a legacy. It's in the blood. Then they train all the royals, those who are into the leadership mantle. Not every royal is into the leadership mantle, no. I told you this girl was, she's a niece to the king. Listen to the link I sent you, if you have it. She's a niece to the king. She was not, her father was not a king. As the head of the armed forces, Her Majesty makes regular visits to military bases and ships to meet with service members, presides over military ceremonies and leads the nation each year in paying respects to those who have lost their loved ones in conflict on Remembrance Sunday. As a leader, you're supposed to visit your teams. Pastors, I expect you to visit your teams that you work with. Pastor, I don't expect you to send anyone. You do it as you. It carries more meaning, more love, more sense. It brings a sense of belonging to a team. That is the leader I know. But you have a habit of sending others in your place. And you say, I hear. When you see that one, you see me, no? When I see Dennis, I don't see Richard. Why? They carry different mantles, they carry different callings, they carry different gifts. You might draft a letter, but you will not pronounce it the way you wrote it. They will paraphrase it. Basically, you sent your copycat. I want the real deal. If you can't offer it, I'll stay with Christ. Everyone deserves it. Why should you give some and you don't give others? Why are you a leader then? You cannot choose to just go to particular families. Particular people come for your parties. Then don't, it, don't make it public if you don't want to call us. Stay in your, your, your backyard at home and do your thing there. Yeah, for us, we always enjoy your photos. What can we do? But you look at the photos and they called particular people and you're like, Oh, I'm sorry. You're working with people who are not your friends. They're just co-workers. I tend to mix the two. The only way I know a team is going to win when you are friends, no matter what. But if you just have co-workers, co-workers come to make money and go. Those are co-workers. They don't have the same goal. The only same goal they have is to get money. The others don't rhyme. That ain't a leadership circle. You are supposed to visit the fivefold ministries. Each one of them. As a leader, as a team leader. You have to make sure they are all well. Get your phone and call. When you're on ground, go visit them. Say hello. That is the leader I know. But all the time you send people in your place. You don't go for anyone's barrier. The only barrier you go to, you choose. I always hear people mentioning money when you give money for things and when someone only gives 5k they just read the 5k they don't say god bless you then the one for one million god bless you nyo 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 mowa iwe wali nyo wali de dalama na tu esther solome na chisusa na chuwambu ya esther solome her hands are not the same as the one who gave you 5k but in the eyes of god because you don't even know my heart I might have given that one million to show people that I have. That is my heart's intention. To rub it in. 
Nina gwenu mia bono so meri nyari ange nina gwenu mie yo. No wenku mie tano chisuso. Omgambe yee mwana tunachimera. Munange wevale. Yee mkumi. Munange wevale. Wondigwa wendigwa. Mkwano sanchi yu. Eee hey, mwana tu sanchi yu sanchi yu sanchi yu. Yee mwana tu esta soro me sanchi yu. Oh, Bambi, Sanchi, you, Sanchi, you, Sanchi, you. Mana, weva, le, weva, le, weva, le, weva, la, mala, vitono. Hii, mana, tuesta, Sanchi, you. Mana, no, malo, vudem, kwa, no, no, mpen, kumitano, nzani. Hii, chisuse. Esta, nalete, tano. Dennis, nalete, omtualo. Richard, nalete, milion. Hii, hii, wanaga, mkumina, Richard stays in the United States of America. You don't know what he does. Mawanda stays in Kampala. Mawanda atunda airtime. Era aja kubera kulevo ya airtime. Ta omumpi wako mawakwata na yesima ko omumpi mosime nga bo simo muwanvu banange. Kati no kankusese oyogola ba height. Engalo ze nyimpi. Hours of a thief. Nga bo chisusa kumawanda. Bo bo chisusa ne kubichadi. It carries weight. It comes with love. Don't pretend to do it. If you don't know how to do it, then to be like a kola chomani, please. Yes, wali wako wango muntu awade chinene. It is understandable, but you don't know my intentions of giving big. Walu wa mtu awe chini nengali consistent. Walu wa one hit wanda. Separate the two. O mtu wa mfiru wa kugroup, mwena mveyo. That is how we show love. Don't, don't be a pretender. Don't be a hypocrite. Don't just come out gwengoli na chizibu. Then the, the, the point of you sitting on that group is useless. Don't use us. Kumanga nze manye chikutuzi zako yo group or ina business. <laughs> Oya gara tuwagile evinto. Omu na afiru ane mchisusa. No siri kia no gamba. Just keep quiet. Tondaga, don't expose your rotten manners. You have a poor character. Stay in the kamori. Tuwa kumanyira. Nti gotula mkamori na otule ngira. Tuwa yoku chisusa kumuntu wa umu. Ngobo wa chisusa za kuestane kusolo mechisusa. Yera avu ya wa kulembeze. Na ye, eo, tole mkulembeze. Sole, sometimes I forget that you don't carry a servant heart. I'm very sorry. Good. I celebrate different people and I say things you've done in my life. I have worked with many people in my life. I celebrate you according to what I know and have how I've worked with you. I used to do it so often, but now I do it once in a while, depending on the time, depending on the weather, depending on how my body is. There are people who have stayed in my life consistently. There are people who have added value to my life. I don't know you. I don't want to pretend to know you. That's a lie. I don't want to pretend to know you. But if I know you, I'll tell you the things you have done in my life. I appreciate. Many people have done different things in my life. And I will thank you. That is how I was raised. I can wear any hat at any time, T. 
there are people who have gotten to know me because of covid but banja gaddenyo ne bachisusa ne basinga na abantu abamanyide for 37 years nge myaka janga asatu mu musanfu tebalabye mu mugaso ngandi useless to them msovye mu of which byali byachi ya ya basinga baulira lugambo ne mbera useless to them e myaka ja fukumi omusanvu abiri mwesatu asatu asatu mu musanvu jonna ne bajiwa tayo temuli kalunji ke balaba ne sango oli nanda ga mu mwako go mu myaka ebiri myeze esatu na jayo vali yange yonna na ajiteka wa wali nanda ga anti esta i value you ngaba manyide from a toddler level of crawling don't see my value. They actually see someone destroying their things. Because the thing became theirs. We took over God's work. When someone takes over something that ain't theirs, they took over God's work. Whenever you take over God's work, it feels like it's yours. That's why you disrespect people because it stopped being God's work. Learn to wear a heart of a servant. That is not your work. The church is not yours. The last time I checked, you collected us to build that church. I know you're the head, but have a heart of a servant. Let us learn the right dynamics. Thank you so much for being the vision bearer. But it's God that gave you the God-given idea. Because if it was yours, you wouldn't collect us to be part of your idea or dream. It means you cannot do it on your own. There are two hands with ten fingers. Shiva Chukonde, when you do like this, we will go to heaven. But if you love to stay like this, hi. In 2009, the Queen introduced the Elizabeth Cross, which is given to the families of those who have died on military operations, or as a result of terrorism since 1948. That is the head of the armed forces. You cannot come and be the head of the armed forces when you don't know what it means to be a general. Instead of laughing at a general who has worn and rested, hours of a view, you find out what makes them a general. Because a general stays a general, dead or alive. You never take away that rank. They worked for it. It just did not happen. I always hear people say, e a general, a general. Someone told me about marriage. But e a general, a general. I looked and I'm like, your so-called married people. It is just a title. It became an achievement. But the last time I checked, practicability is zero. When you have no practicability, trust me, you're any common around the globe. Until you learn to wear the right hearts, the right garments, the right way, the godly way, you're just a noise maker. Who wants us to feed you? Because if you over so bola, Racho Jet not gamba link in the bio. It means you can't hand on your own. You need us. It works as a team. And when you work with us as a team, we are gonna go to the next level. But because we don't want to work as a team. That's why Africa is still behind. Our job is to complain and make noise. That is all we do. That's a problem in Africa. We don't appreciate. If they brought anything negative and you're not getting anything out of it, I want you to get it. Turn it into positive. God has given us the ability. To all immigrants out there, Stop crying that you're hated by the Western world. 
They never called you into their country. You came on your own. Because you wanted to have a better life, as you call it. But most of you, when I look at you, in Uganda, you were better off when it comes to morals. You think you have the money with your immorality? <laughs> Another heart, Supreme Governor of the Church of England. The British monarchy is officially anointed Supreme Governor of the Church of England by the Archbishop. Archbishop. Who is an archbishop? You see, you came out and shouted at uh, Apostle His Eminence, Dr. Serward. And you said he's bringing religion, taking you back into the Catholic Church because he has a Catholic background. I look at some of you and I'm like, Tch. wisdom is not for everyone. That also made rounds on social media and it became an issue to talk about, to post about and get many followers and get many comments and likes and shares. In COVID-19 when people are dying and Kalamoja is dying so bad. <laughs> I tell you. Oh, all of you got to know about Kalamoja through the media. Oh, okay. When you spoke to the Lord, he never said about anything in the season. I thought you seen the spirit. Why do we have prophets? Why do we have the fivefold ministries? What happened to the eyes of the church? You know when you lose the eyes, you lose the ears. Sometimes you stay with the mouth. Because you need to make noise and they hear you. That you are in the ground and someone covered you with the soil. Itching ears. You only hear when you want to get rich. But when it comes to standing in the gap for others, you don't have ears. That is when you hide your hands. But when you're crying government here to Yambe, there you kind of come out wholehearted. You call us to come and support you in your things that collect money, but you cannot spare a dime. A dime is 10 cents. When someone says a dime, it is 10 cents. Let me show you how big or small it, it looks like. Your people came abroad, but they teach you nothing, apart from taking photos. That is all. And telling people how they went to America. I'm sorry, I... Depends on how you were raised. Who grew you? I told you I never wanted to come to the US. I wanted to go to the UK. This is a dime. This is how small it is. But to get this, you need 10 of these. This is a cent. And if you don't have this, you can't buy nothing when it's, it's left with a cent. They will not release it. Every coin here counts. Meaning all of us count. We are all important. Some of us look like a saint. But without it, you will not buy what you want. This, you see this? Very few people would tell you you can go. That is how important it is. This is important. Without it, your $100 is useless. Because it, it's missing a penny. All of us, some of us look like a penny, some of us look like a dime, some of us look like a quarter, it's 25, some of us look like a nickel, it's 5 cents. We are all important, you put this together and you get value for money.
all of us, each one of us, the only time you're going to know that we are all important is when someone dies. That is when I've seen people valuing one another. Make a noise, but you will never appear on any note. She's on a note. And when COVID came, they gave her a mask. Now she's dead, but she'll stay on the note for the rest of our lives, which will never. I want you to make noise, knowing exactly why you're making noise. Because sometimes we look so useless with our noise making. We are mourning. Mourn with those who mourn. It is in the book of Romans. There is a blessing in there. How can you post something that the prayers of our country were sent to another country? Really? I love joking and playing, but I think you play too much. I think you play too much. That is not healthy. You see this? This is the most important note among the notes we have. Because of what it carries here. These guys died long time ago. But they still put them on the money. This note is one of the dangerous paper. Now, to make a disc, to make the other thing I showed you, to make this, just this paper, which is dangerous, you need this to, to get, and this coin, to just get this one. But you can never give anyone this. You tell them Bagendeva and you call yourself a lead. Katitofunye ne emergency. Surachi nyabo. Restu 911. What is your emergency? The Queen of England has passed away. Let me leave you. Mama wama wanka. Ya chilo kutusa nisamwano. Mama wanka, please come over. You normally sit in my chilasses and you fit very well. Mama wama wanka. Mama wama wanka. Mama wama wanka. Mama wanga, mama wanga wa maniza, mama yiva katerega, abera ne vigambe visanisa, vigambe vichuse mti majava na wabantu, oh your special mama, katicho katicho kaka nukabenki, katicho katicho kaka. Let me come back, please. Sorry. Ouch.
thank you for being patient as always it means the world to me Oh, you want me to say, Mama, Mama, Sent you, Mama, Mama, Wanga. Sent you. She's always very nice. She shares my classes with me. She she runs to for our rest to Bambi. Sent you, Mama, Mama, Wanga. Sent you plenty. Where about to Zang Mai? Favataina Masirizi. Favataina Jetuvera. Naga Weva in your way, but did Della. Mukamach Kubadi de Mama Mawanga. Oh, she take it. Oh, you want me say special mother? Set you plenty. On the third, on the day she was crowned on June, what's the time? On the day she was crowned on June second, nineteen fifty three, Queen Elizabeth the second vowed, vowed to maintain and preserve inviolably the the settlement of the Church of England and the doctrine, worship, discipline, and government thereof as by law established in England. In her role, the Queen appoints new archbishops, then bishops and deans of the Church of England, with guidance from the Prime Minister, who receives a list of prospects from the Church Commission. As Uganda, we are honored and privileged to have one of our own, the brother to Pastor Robert Kayanja, as one of the, the Archbishop of Antioch, who can depart. Jagala nye kadi pare kubanga wabida yo chocolate. On that note, in the honor of the Queen of England, Good. The similar gadiya chocolate one man. Kati no no original ya vu de you ke straight. Te ya vu de one. Which take a decadbury dairy milk. Hmm. Which take it. Davi Davi do chocolate do O R G. Hmm. Good. Family, family milk chocolate ingredients milk sugar cocoa butter you can make the chocolate too cocoa mars vegetable fats palm shear emu fires e44 e442 e e e e e e e e train your children to make chocolate at home you can buy the ingredients may contain nuts Wheat? Yes, those are the things. Don't you worry. Good. It's made in the UK. A Birmingham. Street, P.O. Box 7008. Modlez, UK. P.O. Box 7008. Birmingham B three zero apartment two pit Modler Modlers Island Malahide Road Cooklock Dublin Modlers Espanol Modlers Deutschland Quick Gamba we are not Jacoba to suckle chocolate Chocolato Mulimo Energy The Carolies City two hundred 2,230 kgs. Eh, Gabi, Energy. Mulimo sugar. 
Muli mu carbohydrates. Muli mu fiber. Muli mu proteins. Nemba mu solota. 1% of salt. Uh, protein 4%. Fiber is very, very small, my dear. Then it has uh, sugar, 16%. It has carbohydrate, 5%. Then it has uh, saccharides, of which saccharides are 23%. Fats are 11%. Energy is 7%. Good. In honor of the Queen of England, we buy the chocolate of Cadbury. When you love someone, you support their product. I only eat this in the United States of America. I look for it. I eat the biscuits that are digesting. They come from the UK. I come from the UK. Until you ask me which part of the UK, then I tell you, Uganda Kampala. <laughs> the archbishops and the archbishops and bishops who are chosen must then swear allegiance to the queen and are not allowed to resign <laughs> without royal consent. Meanwhile, the Archbishop of Canterbury, this is Canterbury, then this word here, is it the same, Cadbury, this one is Cadbury, the other one is Canterbury, Canter then Bury, but the, on the chocolate, it is Cadbury, Cadbury, but this one, the word is Canterbury. Serves as the spiritual leader of the church. Go my name pronounce yes when it's on the city my nag. Behave. There's a coffee from Charum Kurono Zayamba. Tituli Bovinia, the grace and the fire. In the face of public tragedies, global crisis, and personal sorrow, the queen has shown time and again her ability to provide a reassuring voice and calming presence. She meant that. Those are family dynamics. May her soul rest in peace. The Queen of England. That is how it all started. And this is how it has been going and ended. Long live the Queen. Inside the remarkable life of a modern monarchy. The Queen got married. Her Majesty the Queen, heir to the throne, the royal love story, family matters, serving her country, grace and fire, her legacy. Do you have a legacy? When someone passes, we learn from their legacies. Do you have a legacy? I'm just asking. I told you to start working on your legacy. Do you have one? Your legacy is to abuse people in social media. That is your legacy. She has a very beautiful legacy. I'll share with you slowly, slowly. Don't worry, you have 12 days to mourn her. Her legacy for nearly 70 years, Elizabeth has been a constant for the Britain through its highs and lows. Now at 94, she is preparing her son, Prince Charles, to be the king. That is when she died at 96. Two years ago, they took that photo. Oh, take a ditch Katumana to Akana Kokaite Queen in Pora and Pora. Yes, you start by calling someone a name. A name is very important. A name is an identity. But now you call a person that name, make sure they carry. My Katiavalo, but today we are in the scriptures. Why give you the scriptures you don't practice? 
the only time you use your scriptures I've seen you teach is to hide your sin. Why give you what you, you're not using? You're good at using these things and you're not good at using the word of God. It starts in the spiritual. I am seeing people having role models. Your first role model is the Holy Ghost. She's gone. The best you can do right now is take her legacy to the next level by wearing her hat. <laughs> because you can't handle her character. Oh, take it. She has a heart. And she appears in this book too. Do you appear in this book? Women. Which never do you appear in? Only Mokede. Bamokuye Yambode. Yan to be put in such. Kati, be not of you so vola. Katrava one was so vola. Omani Mutama. Gavaza demo training Gavana. Have a number training. Ye yambu denaera tamaching up to the standard. Kuanga tamani kwe yambura. Ye yambura buya said of says Ivan Zade. To rebuvi. No quayambula, you just did the wrong things. No quayambula to. Mulima want to Mutimuranga was. Kale kwini ajira umula mirembe tunamulaba alimukana agata wo kano kali mwa bachala bonna Esa nze nagenda wansa nyusa utawo bange nengenda yonne nkuru utawo just for just nze nyumirwa nyo bine bintu mwana manyi chichi chendiko a kati abasumba bonna bangobye <laughs> kati bali balolo modo bang <laughs> wakati baba chisima kati ngangenda nganenyo nyesa yo bino ngasoma ne bible yange ngangenda kule vendala nze sali yo kumulembe kwa mmosi <laughs> ate nonye mmosa munonyewa bwesibere musa <laughs> chiba chindide kati kansome musa manyenge ndi musa jatambuza mu bulamu Nen neta ga practical example ngena kutunulira abeita ba Musa kati ngachika Oh bitegete Kale mwana tukwini umula mirembe we tusanyuse nya fa bali ba chocolate munnange we bali kuleta chocolate febani <laughs> Fani ya tuwade ku chocolate ya oma Ebi bi mtasima Enta sime bulaji wanze bota simo bo <laughs> ole setup Na yate sina chakola luwachu. Gopo tewe waku kuza. Goli waku wewa. Oh, chitegete. Katia chintucho gamba. Thank you to chimanyi. You think it's automatic for me to share your things. Jenny. Kumange wa mwe. Tebabi wa igiriza. Chitegete. chitegete. Enu no souvenir yo mwana tu ya jimpa. Na wana wandira wana. Mwana ya andira mwana. Gine mwana ande kila kapapula kwa kwini. Mbele kwa ni wakapapula kwa kwini. Nzani. <laughs> Siza gena gamba bantu nti mvamu yuke. Nga sina kapapula kwa kwini. Mwana tunande kila kapapula kwa kwini. Na yagwa sa wala kumpa pound zetano. Wala wango ofiru. Mwana tu. Wa racha ino mtima omugaga. Na yagwe. Esta. Bakula kila pound itano za kuteka mwasa ujasti for sube. Yes. For us, I work with men and women who have a giving heart. Bagaga motima siva naku. It starts in the heart. Hey, kati ninda na wevu fala ansampe yoku pound. Ninda nenda eno pound ampe kuma fala anga. Ninda naba ina euros. France ako sa euros? Okay. Oh, take it. Nina na South Africa ba pe runs. Nina wana zin Nigeria ba Nigeria na yo omdidi gua sentin. Mteleka nomteleka wali mwaliti yangu kula bako. 
Pastor Neto is serious. Nedam kwano. Your lifestyle and mine are different. Ochitegete. Gantere kamu simbi gwangi. Nga gwo toko makamu gambo. Nyo kataima. Ochiteke wana mkasauka. Aspect Park. Aris Park. Back when I Uganda, Nente na ita na yo. Nente na zon zigaba. Kuwanga njirina motima. Nente na zon zigaba. Nja kugavira afuru kau. Da kreini na yo nja nji kugavira. Choka esta. Iye. Nebi nja nja ambirina wano. Sete zange zidi wano. Kati guwa manyi, you can interpret me all you want. Zeno nga ngenda maso. Baka baitas stay in the baka. They never come to the front. Ente njiri no mu tuwe longo hondi. Good. Ente njiri no mbula mbala mba. Neche nyaja njiri na na ima. Neche nyaja kuchira kata kuna wanyo. Hii, nga ngenda nga kuwa kumpoda. Chona cho. Only daddy. Kari. Eche nyanja, eche nyanja siya kachiri yeri mudini. Oke, zina, katika jemu. Hii, ente nina sato. Hizu zona, ngaro wache sivira na chiraru. Uvote vota nikangu novela na chiraru. Chite kiti chite. Hata tuvera, otu lote vya tutamanyi. Ngaro nina ente eno. Hira winatu kila kugroundo kole chiraru, ngaro wede neko ze mwomri. Na yo, liye, yo, oro tato ina praktikabilite. Kwa kubia buku vya mzimu, kulaba ntenga zigo. Waga ina mderivalensi na hawe tuleke mwana. Good. Una chinga si gaga wali. Sita zoro. Ata kuchia gwentia. Uchita gede na hawe kasta. Waliwe ya ngamba na isango mkade. Na ngamba. Waba kade chila ikotoba mani. You missed being around your grandmother and you think everyone is old. It is okay. Tichiri mustani. You are kaf eji kange. Watch, take it. Sanyu kira mubu la muwenge ngadi Oyo ayinzabyo na Kale, let me sing it in English Until you're honoring the Queen of England Ati, awatama nyiru zungu Vambi, tewa Tewa uli gavurenji Blessed assurance Jesus is mine. Oh, what a fortress of... Okay. Tijoku zimba zombi. In honor of the Queen of England and in honor of the Kingdom of Uganda, we shall sing both English and Uganda. Because the Uganda were polished. Unfortunately, they did not appreciate it. All we do is to complain. Our lifestyle is to complain all the time. And God looks at us and is like, really? Good. Blessed assurance. Jesus is mine. Oh, what a fortress of glory divine. Hair of salvation. Purchase of God. Born of his spirit. Washed in his blood. This is my story.
story. This is my song. Praising my Savior all the day long. This is my story. This is my song. Praising my Savior all the day long. Perfect submission, perfect delight. Visions of rapture now burst on my sight. Angels descending, bringing from above a cause of mercy, whispers of love. This is my story. This is my song. Praising my Savior all the day long. This is my story. This is my song. Praising my Savior all the day long. Sanyu ka yesu yado kola. Gacha sanyu oku chimanyam. Dimu sikawa mune yesu. Ramo yo gweno musai gwe. Siri kuwange nzendi uwe.
Cozy, all right, say. Kane kwe kangamwe. I got tired of hiding me. Let Esther fly with or without support. Let Esther fly with or without the negative words or positive. It's time for the real me to fly. We've hid her so for so long because we fear what people will say. We fear to be left alone. I fear to let Esther out because I would be like, people will get tired of me. They will run away um, because they don't believe in what I believe. They don't do what I do. They hate the scriptures. They hate the word. They don't like the way I teach because... They don't like me talking about the wrong they do. They call it disrespecting. I feared to be left alone. But the Lord assured me I'm not alone. I feared to lose in the eyes of man. I no longer have fear. I can always lose you. Trust me. I wrote something. <laughs> When Christ leaves the house, it stays empty. It stays empty on the 8th of September 2012. When Christ leaves the house, it stays empty, cold and lonely for good. But if you pack your bags and leave, it will be for a short time. And I will have replaced already, but can't do that to Christ. So it's your choice to stay or leave. I have nothing to lose now. Because most of the times I've pushed so hard you stay and you almost killed me. And when I look at part of the things on earth, you are material things. A human being is dust. Dust does not appreciate, apart from swallowing us. You didn't know what it meant. That is what it means. We came from dust. We don't appreciate, apart from killing one another. And blame it on others. And see a gula mirambo. And see no kujula kwayo ya mukama. Nevi jirimu nawa jitulam. We belong to the Lord. I belong to the Lord. With or without you. With your positive and negatives. I belong to the Lord. With your support or no support. But don't worry when you need support, I'm always here. That is only given by people who carry the leadership mantle. The generals. The real generals. Not the talkers, the noisemakers. Who can't practice the love they keep talking about. Who don't practice the word of God. When you don't practice the word of God, you are a noisemaker. That's what the Bible says. That's the Bible, not me. When you learn to love people right, you're going to win with your family. But as of now, in the season, it has made us look losers. Because our lives, all we need is to be supported. And when we support you, that's for you that is love. But you can't reciprocate it. When others come on board, you get tired. You don't have data. 
you set a particular time that at 8 p.m. I turn off my social media, I turn off my phones. But for, for when you need our support, we don't turn off ours. That is why I told you, you can't blame the presidents of different countries. It is us to blame. We can never go to the next level when some people, they, they, all they need is support from others and they can't reciprocate it. It's because wherever you grew up from, they never taught you to support anyone. But they taught you that you should be supported. If you feel offended by these classes, just know there is something wrong that needs to be fixed. Every time I sit in any class and a teacher is teaching, I check myself. Why? I want to grow higher in everything. I love equipping myself. I sit in every class and there, if I've been doing something wrong, I tick it off. I sit in very many classes, you'll be surprised. I sit in kids' classes, I sit in mothers, I sit everywhere. I sit everywhere. People who don't want to learn a thing, they blame it on other people. They don't want to listen. I told you when someone sits you down and they're talking to you, and you feel offended when you're being told the truth. Just know you have a problem and you need help. Unfortunately, you've already multiplied yourself and given birth. I pray to the Lord that you stay and live as long as the King of England. My grandmother that died, she died at 101. Let me call four. I'm soon releasing her photo. Don't worry. My dad's mother is 104. How old is yours? They all have a legacy. My grandmother that died on Saturday and buried on Sunday, the mother to my mother died at 101. How old is yours? I buried a grandmother in 2004. She died 2005. She died at 104. I'm praying to the Lord that the, my grandmother, the mother to my dad, waits for me to go back home and I say hello. It is my prayer. She's 104. Is your mother still existing? How old is she? And if she's existing, can she hear? Can she talk? Does she understand? My dad's mother, when we talk, she knows that is Esther. She differentiates us. Back in the day, she used to say, hurry and go home. It is late. Now she says, can you please stay longer? Hope you still have your grandmother. Unfortunately, I never grew up with my grandfathers. The one I saw would just visit him. I didn't have much time to spend with him so that I can hear the wisdom he has to say. Fathers, I pray that you pray to the Lord and you live longer. You've wasted a lot of time fighting amongst other fathers and your own children are not well mannered. They're not well raised. They have, they're ill mannered and they fail to serve the Lord. You cannot be a pastor and your own house is not in order. Before you stretch to punch any other house, make sure your own children carry the right morals of Christ. Work hard, you. Pastor Tom sat my mother down and told her, stop fighting with children. The, at the time, my brother was, you know, kids. One of the things that touched my brother and changed him 
to the man that was started started to be nurtured and molded to a man he is right now was the accident he got in 2003 that accident was called todanga yo that accident took out all the rotten ill manners he had picked from wherever he went around he had a group of friends that they used to go mubivanda now if your father is not giving you money for Vivanda, how do you enter the Chivanda? Parents don't teach children certain things unless your father is doing it. When I see a kid drinking alcohol, I don't ask much. I see the father drinking. I see the mother drinking. When I see a kid doing drugs and smoking, I don't ask many questions. I'm like, Tata, have you ever seen Mokot? Mom, have you ever seen Mokot? No, apple falls far from the tree. Your own child is doing the exact thing you did. Parents who give birth before you marry, when your child does it, please make less noise. Pray about it that your grandchildren don't fall in the same pit. Because they'll fall in that pit when you're not here. Because when I look at you and your character, long life is, for, is very far from you. Your own character is going to cheat you. You don't love anyone. You don't support anyone. You're going to be an old woman. First of all, you quarrel. You were not raised right. Try not your sovola kola. Na yoli mukazi mkuru. Oli ulgambo gwe muli mkolia. Ne toi not your sovola kwe kolera. Sente yoye kukolera emirimu. Kati sente mnange we nagao. Abantu baku kwa wada. Ne yoma yura chiba kwa galo inaka tente. A tent, a weekend, a zone. I tell you, sent a no java. A quagas at our data quagala, right? You gum gaga. Net come very lack a gato, conangam quano, caract, caracata catalistic, chate of chidia. Garachi to get an hour in a sent, eh? Nanga mazimagali, ain't he? Being around, you can't know the kankula, get kankula, kankula, say, oh, well, in a scent of battle, in a me and you. I make sure I'm far from you because I hate pollution. When I see you, I wear my uniform. I wear my mask. I make sure I wear my gloves. I make sure I have my hand sanitizer. The giraffes now I have a lot in plant. It depends on the ways. Then I wear my mask. Just in case. Then I have my soap here. Then I practice Six meters, ton sembele. Kuanga won ton sembele, la totu na kola diolu gambo. Totu ja kuru kola. Chitegi te chintu tetu. Prevention is better than itchua. Mbunu. Let us first prevent your walu gambo. By the time you get chuad, isolation ye joku maramu e tumba no rugez gez. Chitegi te. Nzai katincha kola rugez gez olo oza. Chemun pieces zam the china or guess guess. Ah, man paid the girl. It was seen again and near was seen. The common lad. Isolation very eat at Dagala. Om to wear grum with Dagala. Ignore them. Bumla Baba eat it deco. The only medication you can give is ignoring someone. Nine no one walk wa a Dagalanga a Dagala. Let me hope. When you need me and I ignore you, you can take it in. <laughs> Let me hope you can stand my ignoring you. Because I can take it to the next level. I'm good at it. Let me hope when you need me, you will find me. Because when I put in power to wear the same shoe you wear of ignoring people, 
ne PhD ndoza na atira kufuna ne PhD ndoza na atira kujifuna in an amazing way Mukwano, if I ever wear the same shoe you wear, you're in trouble. <laughs> I can wear the shoe you wear of ignoring people and you pretend. <laughs> there are some people you don't treat like the way you want. Because your so-called tribe cannot do what I do. We are different. When you appreciate that God creates a man and a woman different, When I got to understand that, that we have different callings, talents, gifts, and we have different hearts. I think some of your hearts are black. But since we have surgery of the spirit, I will help you. Good. No, I'm curious of when you're maybe you can. When you're going to miss her. The city pastor, the ramp said, it's that room. Cut never day gun, tumble you, my not. Kati ne sanga a kantu kano. Kwanga ngenda ne soma Bible yeno, na yu wali wevi tuwevi munga tevili. Ne ngamba vanu wa wasajja babi jawa. Banange, those who go to the Bible colleges, the Bible scholars, I need some help here. I need some help, please. Because I don't understand. Kati uwe kono. Na kasanze ni kasanyu sa atalasi. The atlas. Bagamant the, the geography of the Bible from Genesis to the Gospels. Now, our life is influenced by the Bible that you don't read in a big, on a big level. Na yu kati oloku wati wafuka mgezi. Na ngene kule kanga wofa nana ni ngambu wa. Kanve kubalaru. Sina gantwala gantwala mgezi. Mugundi ye yomuchi. Sirina gafa. Ate sente zintu ala mbaibu kore jisisi sirina. Ate guo sirina. Ate nova yonga vyo. Vyo waso me. Kagamba no sirina sirina. Ochite kiti. Ochite yo. Katituge nda kusoma wano. Tuliku family dynamics. Why I love such things, they make it easy and simple for you not to get bored and uh, then it, it ref gives you a reference to the Bible. We are looking at family dynamics at the same time running away from God. Family dynamics, because Moses comes from these guys, you need to understand how it all happens. You all come from somewhere. Don't mind so much about the title there because I copy and paste to save time. But when we take it to the YouTube, I'll talk to my friend, my dear friend, Dende Michael, and we put the title very well. Because I don't drive my classes. No, I don't. I used to do that and I would struggle so much and I would get so stressed and depressed at the same time. You know you get stressed and depressed because you're trying to be very organized as man wants it. Then man does not even attend the class. Then things happen and they fall victims of the things they did not attend. Kwekamba nembera ku pressure. Eyo vitavira organized. Nembera ku pressure. Vulirantu kama mchira singa mkama chusa topiki. Eyo na olwona une vavrade. Nembera ku pressure because you don't have to. You don't come to class. You don't share my classes. Eyo na yone fuka pressure. Nem kutagi inga no ngamba. Don't tag me in your things. No removing a tag. Kwekamba ni eyo na yone fuka pressure. Na gendu kula wani ngamba mama. Ku eye blood pressure. Omu sa uji ya gamba for 18 years. Ate na uwe mkugateko. Sujo ya pana. Ate nga nina assignment. Nengamba esta. Ate na gamba votuwa kwa leche mkugamba. Esta 414 wala puye nyola. Nengamba chinji. Buchanga vantuma esta kandu kudemu. Kati ne nore songeyo. Tuzeyo wano kuyakobo. Ne Rebecca. Jacob's family in Canaan. Jacob was Rebecca's favorite. To those who are new and are following, muna anga wapia, mtu zaye mawega na ite suwina chakula, ura achifena tu wagala tuchitegele, mule mekufa nyo. Okufa kukendele. Mikuano jamwe, vijewa jam classes ange, vatu leo newe kweka, and they don't share my classes. Kati I have to keep going back all the time. 
It is not easy, but when God chooses, you follow instructions. I have not yet graduated, so those are things I have to go through. I learn on job. So Jacob was Rebecca's favorite through Isaac favored Esau. Jacob was Rebecca's favorite, though Isaac favored Esau. Esau was the firstborn. Parents and favoritism, careful out there. Rebecca wondered how Jacob could inherit the birthright. Becora. Birthright is called Becora. The rights of the firstborn son to their father's inheritance. As firstborn child back in the day would inherit the father's things. But as years go by, things change. Now for us, we have the Holy Spirit. They sit and ask, as you're growing up, your father and mother, looks. they look at you. And they're like, mm, I think Mawanda will handle the family well, the family dynamics. Your father is looking at you. He looks at all his children, the only person who knows their child to the detail is your mother and father. But most of the times, it's your father. Why? Mama sometimes neglects certain things. Why? Mama takes on your father's identity. So basically, your identity is your father's. I expect a father to pay more attention to his thing. That's why you hear people saying to your man, oh, I'm such a... That thing has dri driven women away so much. A child comes out and they look nothing. They don't resemble their mother at all. Not even the character. Because now the child looks like their father. Then the child looks like their grandmother. Then the there are some people who have very strong blood. Very strong genes. I happen to come from a family where my 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 father's side, his father's side, his grandfather's side, his father's side, they are very strong in that we end up looking alike. When you see that person, you will think that is we come from the same mother or father. When you look at that, our grandparents are siblings. The mother to his dad and the father to my dad are siblings. The mother is the firstborn to his dad and my grandfather is the lastborn. In between the two, there is a man called the late Jaja Seboa. That young man looked like, like we have a strong blood. It pulls from all over. It's like a magnet. When you look at that photo, you think, Tata ni mama atuzara aliyom. Unless ngatoma ni kupana ganyavandi. He does not need to smile for you to see it. I, when I smile, it comes out so evidently. O kupana ganakuno. Why is it like that? Because I looked, I resembled his grandmother. Why did that happen? It happened at the day I was given my names. Be careful who gives a name to your child. Be careful who receives your child immediately after giving birth. Those people influence your child. They alter your child's identity they don't alter the dna but they alter the child's identity and change the destiny so be very careful now this is how I looked like when I went to bury my other grandmother whom, who died at, at 104. The day I met Bebe Cool's mother and someone told me I looked like Bebe. That is the hairstyle I had. 
Now someone who is good at kufana ganyavantu, so me. When they told me that I look like Bebe, I was from seeing his mother for the first time. I met her in Chiti. I had gone to bury my other grandmother who had made a hundred, who died at a hundred and four. So when the person saw, when I came back to the university, the person made a comment. Now look at that person and me. Now when you see that, that is a Chigozi and in Nachimera. The other one is a Ruvama. Actually, let me show you this one. This is an up close. Now that is a Chigozi and a Nachimera. Then this one is a Ruwama and a Nachimera. Chigozi and Ruwama were siblings, and Chigozi was the youngest. There were only two boys. I don't hear anything about them having a sister or another brother. Jacob had the same things in his family. Back in the day, the firstborn, Jacob's time, the first son or the firstborn was the one to take over after his father. How is it in your father's house? Things changed that people bring their own, the kids to their siblings. Why sometimes they do that? Either their own children are all dead. And they want someone to take their legacy higher. Now let me ask, you who inherited your mother's sister or your father's brother, have you taken the legacy to the next level? Or you just buried and you want to start your own thing? Parents, I want you to help children. I want you to train children the right way. I want you to tell children that inheritance is not things. Inheritance is responsibility. If your child is not ready for it, they are going to pay a very huge price. And mom and tata, I hope you live very long. To see your child struggle simply because he's not he or she has not been responsible enough to take care of the family of the deceased hope they understand the family dynamics and the culture hope they understand the laws and regulations that govern a nation in the government of uganda when you inherit it when you inherit anyone you only get 1%. Basically, you inherited blood. The house, the land, don't belong to you. They don't. The real people that have seen, that are in, into inheritance, their father or mother must have given them something they call their own. But what they inherited is not theirs. They only inherited responsibility. Read the Bible very well and the laws and regulations that govern a nation. If you ever inherit a man who married someone, 
he has a wife. You cannot throw the wife outside. And if she died, she left inheritance too. You cannot throw out your father's wife or the one who steps in her shoes simply because you inherited your father. When you do that, I'll just know that devil is on the throne. Parents help your children. I will just know the devil is seated on the throne and he does not want to let go. That is a clear sign that the devil is seated on the throne. And to take the devil off the throne, we are going to fast. If Esther fast does not work, 21 days are going to work. If they don't work, we are going to go 40 days on water and foods to uproot you. Watch and see. You're going to be uprooted at a time you don't need to be uprooted. Because I'm tired of seeing the devil roaming around in church, in government, in families, in schools, and at workplaces. I am tired. The Queen of England has died. Who is next in line? He or she, are they ready for us? Do they know how, what it means to work together as a team? Will that person be able to take the legacy to the next level? Because what you find, you hype it. Because you have different talents and gifts, you use what you're given to take it to the next level. That's what Joshua did. Hope you understand the English I speak. Sometimes some of you put uh, cotton wool in your ears. Even if you don't attend this class, the Holy Spirit is after you. There are things I don't play or, or joke around with. The Holy Spirit is on the throne. The Holy Spirit is on the throne. The Holy Spirit is on the throne. Get ready. Change is coming. I say, hold on, don't you worry about a thing. I say, hold on, change is coming. I say, hold on, don't you worry about a thing. She dressed Jacob in Esau's court and thus deceived Isaac who was nearly blind, into blessing Jacob. We saw that in the Bible. So I'm just giving you a recap. As soon as Esau found out, he was furious, and Rebekah sent Jacob away to Haran to safety. You want the details? We go to the Bible. One night while traveling to Haran, Jacob fell asleep and dreamed of a ladder going up into heaven. At the top stood God reaffirming his covenant. God get, made a covenant with his forefathers. Made, God made a covenant with Noah. Jacob comes from Noah's lineage. After Adam giving birth to Caleb and Sorry, not Caleb. Abel and Cain. Cain killed Abel. Adam knew his wife again and they gave birth to children. And through that, through the next set of children, that's where we get Abraham. That's where we get Jacob. That's where we get Christ. 
That's where you come from. Some of you come from Ishmael. Some of you don't even come from Ishmael. You just took yourself there. You took yourself there. I want you to give me four of your great grandfathers. Four of them. So that we can confirm that you surely indeed are from the Muslim lineage. If you follow it, Mugenda Kukava and Gavajajam with Baliba Baliba Christai. Naya Yotoveo, Mujakuba Blunch. The land on which you lie, I will give to you and your offsprings. He was dreaming. Genesis 28 and verse 13. When he woke up, Jacob anointed the stone on which he had slept with oil and called the altar Bethel or Bethel or Bethel, the house of God. Is your church Bethel or Bethel? It means the church of God. Does whatever happens in that church of God reflect the God they talk about? What makes you saved is your character. Not you telling us, praise the Lord. Anyone can say, praise the Lord. What brings out the meaning of love is you practicing it. Action speaks louder than words. It's not about telling me, Esther, we love you more and more. Do you know where my father stays? Did you bother to call my mother? And she lost her man. Because that is love. Did you bother to ask for her number? If you go to the same church as my mother, have you bothered to visit her? If you come from the same family I come from, have you bothered to reach out? Because she's very important in the family, by the way. She's not a wannabe. My mother is important. But you cannot know why. Our importance was covered by disrespect. And the only way we can be uncovered is when we love our Lord with all our hearts and do what the Lord says. That is where our crown is. Our crown is not having things or helping people that everyone can do. But our crown is when we obey the rules and regulations given by the Lord. When we disobey, disrespecting comes crawling on a higher level. That is what happens when you disobey God. Young blood out there, I will help you. When you run away from God, it is something else. You alter God's plans in your life. And you have to go back and work harder, twice or double your effort. Hope you're still strong enough. If you're not, train your children to be able to take it to a higher level. God interests a house when he chooses the house. He picks someone in the house to take the legacy to a higher level, no matter what. When God chooses a man, he has chosen a house. Jacob's children. Once in Haran, Jacob worked for his cousin Laban. Now, Laban was Jacob's uncle. You see how you should be reading the Bible. The one who wrote the book called Jacob, his cousin. Jacob is an uncle. Laban is an uncle to Jacob. Now the one who wrote the book said that Jacob is a cousin to Laban. You have to be very careful. You're going to find all those things in the book of Genesis chapter 30. 
So I will correct it since I know the truth. Once in Haran, Jacob worked for his uncle Laban and eventually married both his daughters. The beautiful Rachel and her older sister Leah. Leah bore Jacob seven children, six sons, Ru Reuben, Simeon, Levi, Judah, Ishakar, and Zebulun, and a daughter called Diana. Jacob's concubine, a secondary wife, who was concocted by his so-called wives, Rachel and Leah. He had Bera. Bera gave birth to Dan and Aftar. And Zilpah, another secondary wife, gave birth to God and Asher. You're going to find that in Genesis chapter 30, which we've been reading. Hope you attended. I'll go back and read because we stopped somewhere. I don't rush God and I don't rush the word of God. Death is rushing us like crazy because we've rushed God's word like crazy. All the time we don't have time for God. We are just rushing God all the way. When you go back to Genesis chapter 30, I'm showing you family dynamics and how they work in a family. This family had more than four women. It had four women in it. One man with four women. Really. Some of your families look like that. I happen to come from a family where those things are common. It did not happen in my father's house. His own house that he started. Why? When he gave his life to Christ, he ended the game. But remember, if he ended the game, am I ready to end that game? Because we are taking a legacy to the next level. Bira was a maid for Rachel. Zilpah was a maid for Leah. Verses 9. Chapter 30. When Leah saw that she had stopped bearing children, she took Zilpah, her maid, and gave her to Jacob as a secondary wife. Zilpah, Leah's maid, gave birth to a son for Jacob. Then Leah said, how and." how fortunate so she named him God good fortune Zilpah Leah's maid gave birth to a second son for Jacob now Rachel's maid gave birth to two boys one is called Dan and the other one is called Naphtari Dan means he judged Naphtari means wrestling now Leah brings Zilpah, and Zilpah gives birth to God, and called him good fortune, God. Then Zilpah, Leah's maid, gave birth to a second son for Jacob. Now seven plus the other two, eight, nine, plus these two, Leah gave birth to seven six boys and one girl then zilpah gave birth to two those are nine then uh, bira gave birth to two also those are 11 children so after giving birth to god She gave birth to a second, a second son for Jacob, and Leah said, I am happy, for women will call me happy. So she named him Asher. Asher means happy, according to the Bible. 
So those are nine children. Nine, ten, eleven. They are eleven. I have four gone and gave you the girl too. But before the girl, those are ten children. Now at the time of wheat harvest, Reuben, the eldest child, went and found some mandrakes in the field and brought them to his mother Leah. Then Rachel said to Leah, please give me some of your son's mandrakes. But Leah answered, is it a small thing that you have taken? My husband, would you take away my son's mandrakes also? Abba child, and now they are fighting. About what? Mandrakes. Of the eldest boy. So Rachel said, Jacob shall sleep with you tonight. So Rachel said, Jacob shall sleep with you tonight in exchange for your son's mandrakes. <laughs> Can you imagine such dynamics in the family? It is Vyampankwe Forex Bureau. It starts in the house. By the time they come out to be leaders, our leaders, that is the lifestyle. I give you and you give me. That is what is happening right now in the political houses all over the world. It started at home. This man has two women at home and they keep fighting. And now some of them are leaders in the nations and that is how she fights. She goes to the parliament and she brings out those skills because that's all she knows. So Rachel said, Jacob shall sleep with you. That is why you see girls are sleeping with men to get what they want. Really. It started way back. A pastor sleeping with his secretary for her to get a house. For her to get a, 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 a position on, on the committee. Really. It started here. Verse 16. Then Jacob came in from the field in the evening. Leah went out to meet him and said, You must sleep with me tonight, for I have in fact hired you you're hiring your own husband with my son's mandrakes so that so he slept with her that night can you imagine man you've been manipulated for so long oh wake up Woo! man that girl is scaring you at work your boss is scaring you that she will fire you if you don't sleep with her. Really. Musicians. Your promoter is caring. You're your producer, your manager. If you don't give me some, I'll not release your music. Really. Let him go with his managerial poor skills. you find girls in... Man, no, the music industry is doing bad. It, it all started here. Girls are manipulative. Men are manipulative. Rachel had a manipulative way of doing things. Scaring the man. Now she's scaring her co-wife to get what she wants. For her to get what she wants, she has to scare you with something. Really, girls. You love manipulating. Okay. Then Leah, uh, excuse me. First of all, there were four kids up. We haven't yet reached the, the, the full total. So there are four of Leah. Then uh, the two for Zipporah, those are six. The two for Bira, those are eight. Now, Leah is releasing number five to make nine. So Leah 
Leah and she conceived and gave birth. God listened and answered. <laughs> the, the dynamics in the house. When you pray, God answers. Do you know why? You are entitled. God is a father. And a father, when you ask, he will give you. That is a father. Our fathers. Before I call anyone my father, I need to love and respect my own father because he's the only man who's going to give me without asking questions. If he doesn't have, he will say, Esther, I don't have. Then he says, you can work hard, my dear, and you get and buy yourself what you want. At the moment, I can afford to buy you a Luganda Bible. When you get money, go and buy yourself an English Bible version. And this is what I bought myself. He said, I'll buy you a Luganda Bible. He said, he bought a Luganda Bible. And he said, if you ever need an English Bible, go buy it yourself. This is what Tata gave me. I had gotten seven points. That is how Tata celebrated us, all of us. And on the 26th of February, 1998, Tata gave me a present. It's not a present, it's a gift. Most of the presents I got, I don't know where they are. It's only gifts that last. Presents don't last. Because it's a present, it's for that time. A gift is for a lifetime. Jesus was a gift. Is your child a gift? The Queen of England, Queen Elizabeth II, she gave herself as a gift to the world until her time is coughed out. And on the fifth month of 2020, on the 26th, Esther bought herself a Bible during COVID when she was walking into her calling on a big level. This is what Esther bought herself. This was $50. They put the money there. It was $49.99. But it made 50 because we had to ship it. I bought it online. And I bought it after the Lord telling me what version of the Bible I should buy in 2018 in November. I think three days or two days after my birthday. Then Leah, after giving birth of his son, then Leah said, verse 18, then Leah said, God has given me my reward because I have given my maid to my husband. So she named him Ishakar. Ishakari. Ishakar. Leah received, conceived again and gave birth to a sixth son, to Jacob. So eight, nine, now these are ten. Then Leah said, God has endowed me with a good marriage, gift for my husband. Now he will live with me, regarding me with honor as his wife, because I have given birth to six sons. So she named him Zeblon. Let me make you laugh. We Girls get that mentality. When they get pregnant, they think they have won the man. Sorry to bust your Bible. Things changed. You giving birth to anyone's child is not a ticket to heaven. Neither is it a ticket to marriage. Stop using your children as a getaway ticket to get what you want. It all started here. After she gave birth, to Zeblon, afterward she gave birth to a daughter and named her Diana. That came from Leah. You see how culture has altered God's plan in a man's life. Because he went to a house and culture says the oldest child gets married first. Hence he was lied to. 
and he got the wrong girl because of culture. I can use culture and I destroy a nation. Culture is very good, but it alters God's plan. And God wants to reverse all that. If you let culture rule, it changes and alters a nation. That's why the Lord allowed the Britain to come to Uganda and polish us because Uganda was chosen by God. So careful out there. Then God remembered the prayers of Rachel and God thought of her and opened her womb so that she could conceive. You can imagine after seven children, seven means restoration. After seven kids from a wrong choice. Seven. Then you add on the concocted kids because they cannot wait, the maids. Seven plus four. The four come from two maids. Those are eleven. Verses 22, then God remembered the prayers of Rachel and God thought of her and opened her womb so that she would conceive. When you want God to do things for you, please don't manipulate people as you're waiting. Rachel manipulated everything at the same time as she's praying and waiting. And she ended up to wait till number seven. That's a long time. You have to have the grace of God to wait. While you're waiting, what do you do? While Rachel was waiting and praying, she decided to manipulate the man, create other babies without asking the Lord. A baby is a blessing, but what kind of baby are you bringing on earth? How are you forcing them out? Are they in God's plan? Were you ready and willing to pay for the consequences of those babies you created when it's not yet time? Or you're going to blame your husband or your co, your, your con the concubine of your husband. Because that's what Sarah did. And it's her current lifestyle as of current. What the women are doing is they are blaming it on their husbands. Then they blame it on the other girl. When they are not doing their own part. God thought of her and opened her womb so that she would conceive. Verse 23, so she conceived and gave birth to a son. And she said, God has taken away my disgrace and humiliation. But we need to ask God in these things. Ask God initially so that you don't fall a victim of such things. Please. 24, she named him Joseph. May he add. Joseph means may he add. Are you called Joseph? And said, may the Lord add to me another son. Adding additional mathematics. We add on top of you. You increase. Joseph means increment. When you add, you're increasing the number. Are you called Joseph? When I left my, when I was going to leave my country, my spiritual father in my home church said that today, Esther, you, 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 you're the Joseph in your father's house. When he said that, I kept quiet and I looked at him and my mind was running as usual and I'm like, does he understand what he has just said? 
because when I read the story of that younger man, that anointing is not seen. Trust me, I have lived that lifestyle. And I'm still in it. Because that young man was isolated from his family. It was a hard paper. God used to talk to him, which was hated by family. You're out there going through the same thing. Don't give up. Don't give up. I almost gave up. Every time I remember, I have a sharp memory. Every time I remember the words I got when I was leaving the nation. I was like, wow. The power of words. If they're negative, they're going to kill you. If they're positive, they're going to build you and raise you to the next level. Joseph meant, may he add, you called Joseph, have you added anything to the society? You call yourself Joseph of today, have you added anything? Apart from begging, you don't know. I'm going to stop there. What does, the, what does your name mean? You were given names. You're called Joseph. I have friends who are called Joseph. The girls are called Josephines. Josephine is, is the feminine part of Joseph. It means addition. But every environment you're in, you're just taking. You're taking people's peace. You're taking people's hope. You're taking everything away. And you're called Joseph. Okay. Let us pray. And I leave you. Heavenly Father, we give you praise, we give you glory, we give you honor. We thank you for this time. Lord, I bring the United Kingdom into your hands as they mourn the Queen of England. I know she's been loved by many out there. Feel the void in their hearts. Lord, I want to thank you for her life. She left us a legacy that is worthy looking at. Continue to meet her family, her close family, those that have supported her, her cousins, her grandchildren, her children, and their spouses, her own family, Lord, where she belongs, that are still alive. Father, fill the void in their hearts. Fill the void in the hearts of the, those in the UK. Fill the void of the hearts of those in the European Union those in the U.S., those in Canada, those in Australia, Africa, Middle East, Asia, because she was known. She traveled in more than a hundred countries. Lord, intervene and take over. I thank you for every man and woman out there. Those who have lost their loved ones, please fill the void. Lord, fill that, fill that void because they need you. And Father, I pray for the men and women who have ce celebrated their birthdays today using Janice Mokulu and Jojo Bunjo as a point of contact. Holy Spirit, I cover them under the blood as they walk this new level, as they step up. Someone says, step up. When you step up your game, Lord, guide them every step of the way. Guide them, Lord. Increase them. Enlarge their territories. 
Thank you for now, my love, Rachel. Increase her. I pray that you visit her to get to know you on a personal level. To work with you. Because you alone are God. Let your will be done. Let your love prevail. Holy Spirit, intervene and take over. Father, thank you for Jojo as he's... I pray for him and his family, his wife and their child. I pray for safe delivery. I pray for an increase in their house. Bless the works of their hands, Lord. Enlarge their territories. Their house will be a house of prayer, a house where we go and be healed and delivered. Father, I thank you for the, his parents, Jojo's parents. It takes a heart for a man and a woman to raise a son who's respected enough to make up his mind and marry someone's daughter and love him and and love her and protect her and provide for her. It takes a heart because through Jojo, I was able to reflect on what happened on my father's wedding because my dad also got, married his wife at 27 and they gave birth when daddy was 28. I've seen that reflect, be reflected after 38 years. I see it being reflected again. What an honor. Lord, I thank you. Because most of us don't get to attend our parents' weddings, especially the kids that are within the convent. So we don't know. They just tell us stories. But when I saw Jojo's wedding, it was such an honor. It was such an honor. And this year he'll be making a year. What an honor to make a year in your marriage when you have children. Oh, Lord, you're so good. Father, protect him with his family, his nuclear family and his big family, his siblings, and everyone that comes in contact with him. Lord, I pray that he's a blessing, a source of great good to others. Father, I thank you. For Jane and the boys. What an honor, Lord. Thank you for remembering us. You've been so good. You are a loving father. Father, continue to be with her. Guide her. Teach her your ways. As she steps up to the next level, increase her, Lord. Enlarge her territory. Father, give her customers, Lord. She serves you in the food industry, in the in the IT industry, Father, enlarge her. Bring customers at Fever Park. Protect her children and provide for them everything they need with the, all their family members. We thank you for the father to the children. Give him wisdom, knowledge, and understanding and protect him so that he works on his life to leave a legacy for his children. Because at the end of the day, Every child needs a father. And when this father is still alive, Lord, all we do is to pray for them, encourage them, and teach them your word for them to be the best fathers ever. Lord, I thank you for Rachel Namala. Bless the works of her hands. Give her marriage, Lord. Bless her children and her family. Enlarge her territories. I pray for her business, Lord. COVID affected her so much. Lord, intervene in her business. Intervene, Lord, because that hit many who worked in Chukuo, who, who were owning their small businesses, they were hit hard. Father, give her customers. Enlarge her territory. Take her to the next level. Give her corporate clients. Give her, Lord, because you have it. I thank you because you're good. I give you praise. I thank you for every baby out there, those who are into business. Lord, provide for them and let your will be done. Give them, bring them customers, oh God. Take them from the local level to an international level. I thank you for Uganda at large. Father, death has occurred several times. It's overwhelming, but Lord, intervene as we are, we are waiting for that revival that you promised. Help us do the right thing at the right time. I give you praise, Lord. I cover myself in the blood. No man who has wrong intentions will find me. No one with a monitoring spirit will find me. I hide in the blood, the rock of ages. I give you praise. I give you glory. I seal this class in the blood. That wherever it goes, it touches a man and a woman's heart out there. As they build and educate and raise the next leaders, Lord. 
with love of God as they teach their children to work together for us to be able to come out of this crisis. I thank you. I give you praise. I give you glory. In Jesus' mighty name, I believe and pray. Amen and amen. Have a blessed night. Have a good night, Uganda. I know some of you are at church. I know some of you went to the bar. That's how you spend your Friday evening. It is how you chose your life. It is your life. It is your decision to make. Hope you can pay for the consequences of everything you do in life. Because whatever decision you make, you're making it for your own children, your own families. It is your own legacy. Anything I do right now, it's a choice I am making for my own family. That is it. Everything I am doing now, it concerns my own family. Because it's the only place that gets hurt when I'm hurting. My friends hurt for just a minute. And we forget. Because we don't have a servant heart. We don't know what it takes to love people. But we want to be loved. That is how you were raised. I cannot blame you. We have different backgrounds. And we see things different depending on our ages. Our generations. Our callings. Our purposes. Our gifts. And our lineages. Our own genealogy. I love you. It's always an honor to serve. Have a blessed day. And have a good night. See you around. Bye-bye.